Welcome back to the Peric Project. I'm Gila Ross, host of the Power Up podcast. And in the Peric Project, we spend just a few minutes looking at the timeless wisdom of Pirkei Avot, ethics of our fathers, and we see just how much relevance it can add to our everyday lives. Let me tell you the story of Anne Scheiber. She was a low-level government official, and after she passed away, she made the news. She had spent her life living extremely frugally to the point where she always wore the same cheap coat and hat. She wouldn't subscribe to the Wall Street Journal. Instead, she'd go to the library and read it there. And the media was intrigued. Why would someone live so frugally? Here's the thing. She spent her entire lifetime saving her money and investing her money. Why? Because she wanted to leave it to charity. And in fact, she left an estate of $20 million for Jewish education. So was she depriving herself? No, she had a vision and a goal and she spent her lifetime accomplishing that vision and that effect of it is going to be felt for generations. And perhaps this is how we can understand the Mishnah because it tells us this is the way of Torah. We should eat bread, drink water, sleep on the ground. It's not necessarily a call for living a life of deprivation. Instead, it's telling us that we shouldn't let poverty impede our pursuit of Torah excellence, our pursuit of spiritual greatness. We can't say, first let me be comfortable, then I'll set aside for my spiritual growth, because then we'll never get around to it. Instead, we have to look at it the way people who have a vision look at it. If you look at any superstar in the world of business, they don't put in 40 hours a week. No, they have a vision and they have a single-minded intensity. And that's just for material things when it comes to spirituality, which is eternity. We have to understand that life is the business trip right? And we can't give up because of difficulties. We have to apply ourselves and we have to keep on going because it's worth it. And interestingly, when a person has that vision, that intensity, it's not hard. It becomes something that they want to do. It's a motivation. And when a person applies themselves to the, to Torah and to spiritual growth, it's the best of this world and the next world. However, despite the greatness that awaits a person who strives for Torah greatness, and what's interesting to note is it says that we have to try because God doesn't expect the same from all of us. We all have a different mission. We all have a different potential. Our job is just to try, but we have to remember that we we, we, we got to stay humble. We can't seek greatness. We can't seek honor for our own sake. Obviously, if we're doing it to increase the honor of the Torah, that's one thing, but it's very tricky. You've got to be careful because it's so easy for us to think, oh, I'm, I'm looking for, for respect, for altruistic reasons, but really it's just our own ego that's saying, hey, what about me? We always have to stay humble and remember that our good deeds, our performance should exceed what we're learning, which is can be a challenge, but that's the goal, to continually do the good deeds and make them more than what we learn. And when we're applying ourselves, we, we shouldn't be tempted by the luxuries and the pleasures of this world, because we have to remember that the reward of the world to come is much, much greater than anything we can have down here. Sometimes we have to temporarily put aside the pleasures of this world to go for the gold when it comes to our spirituality, but it's worth it. And whatever we achieve, that achievement is permanent. Unlike if we go for luxuries or pleasures, sometimes they're short-lived. Sometimes we go for a pleasure or a luxury and then we see that it doesn't last. 
or it goes away. But not so with the achievement of Torah and spiritual greatness. That whatever we achieve, we have for the rest of our lives and beyond for eternity. And we have to remember that God is trust, trustworthy when it comes to rewarding us. Hashem is going to reward all our efforts. In fact, Torah is so great that we're told that there are three crowns that a person can achieve. There's the crown of royalty. There's the crown of the priesthood of someone who was a priest and worked, did the spiritual work for the Jewish people in the temple. And there's the crown of the Torah. And the Torah is the greatest of them all. The other two, royalty and priesthood, are hereditary. You have, you, you have to be born into it. And while they come with materialistic privileges, gifts, the Torah, on the other hand, is accessible to anyone. Anyone can acquire it. How do we acquire it? How do we achieve these, this spiritual greatness, this crown of Torah? So that is by developing 48 qualities. What are those 48 qualities? So a full look at it is really worthwhile. In fact, there's a, there's a book called The 48 Ways of Wisdom, which is incredible. It's beyond the scope of this episode of this episode but I'll give you just a a little snapshot of of a couple of them and it includes being aware of the moment and getting to know yourself to ask yourself not to wait for a crisis but just to ask yourself what am I living for it's learning to listen to others it's it's learning to harness fear because fear can be a powerful motivator sometimes and to, it's learning to live with joy. Joy gives us the confidence to reach for and achieve things that we that otherwise we couldn't do. These are just some of the qualities that are, of the 48 qualities that a person can develop so that they too can access this crown of Torah, this crown of spiritual achievement, which which is greater than anything we can earn in this world and which lasts us through into eternity. Thank you so much for listening. I'd love to hear your thoughts and your feedback. You can get in touch with me on Instagram at Gila Ross. And if you like this podcast, please share the word and subscribe so you hear future episodes. Thank you for spending your time listening to the Power Up podcast and have a wonderful day. Mm-hmm.